Hey there, thanks for watching. In this video, I'm going to be sharing five ways that I still manage to save money in a high cost of living area. I also just had a baby three months ago and lost my income. So both those things, having a baby and needing to save money because I lost my income, have really prioritized and brought to the forefront the need to save as much money as possible, yet at the same time, treating my time as the most valuable commodity it is. So without further ado, here are five ways that I still save money despite living in a high cost of living area. And that thing number one is a tried and true, I always, always, always shop with a list. I will take out my phone, open up the notes app and make a list of everything I need before I enter a store. This is a habit that I started when I was pretty young because I just hated that sticker shock of filling your cart with things and then getting to the checkout and then being shocked at how much it costs. So thumbs up if you do this too. I will put in an approximate cost on my list, how much things will cost and then I tallied up and then as I'm adding things to my cart, I will also make a mental note of how much they cost and then the total and then give myself points for how close I get to the actual total when I get through the checkout. It's just a way for me to be mindful about what I'm spending anytime I go into any store, but particularly in the grocery store because to be honest, that's where I'm going 99% of the time. The, the second thing I still do to save money in a high cost of living area is I plan ahead wherever possible. Again, tried and true, I will look at my schedule for the week and see, try to see days that I anticipate being busy and stock up on convenience foods where possible, like a frozen pizza or a one pot meal. These are not things that I like to rely on typically because I typically shop for fresh vegetables and fresh protein sources. But in cases where I'm super busy and don't have time to cook from scratch, a convenience meal can make the difference between saving money on ordering out and that can be a hefty chunk as well. So being prepared with some ready to go quick convenience meal options is a second way that I save money still living in a high cost of living area. The third way I save money living in a high cost of living area is to do it myself whenever possible. This is just pretty much standard um, advice is to try to do things yourself rather than paying the convenience money to have them pre-made. This is a fine line though. Sometimes I will opt for the convenience item. It's all about being very sort of balanced with my time and my money. But the one way that I do things myself is that I pick up my own groceries. I had toyed with the idea of getting a grocery delivery service, like an Instacart or something when the baby was born. And in the end, I just realized that it wasn't worth saving it wasn't worth the time to money ratio. I think if I were to do an unlimited um, grocery delivery service for the month, it was, still, it was like $50. And then I still have to add in the additional expense for each item and then a tip. And then um, I think the del delivery fee was waived. In the end, it just wasn't worth it to me. So I still go out to pick up my own groceries. One of the benefits of living in my high cost of living area, which is Manhattan, is that I can just walk to the grocery store. So that's a huge advantage. And I like to take advantage of that advantage whenever possible. So in that respect, I still pick up my own groceries myself and I am fairly disciplined in sticking to only the items that I put on my list. The fourth item, which is a little bit unconventional, but does actually save me money, is to prioritize sleep. With an infant, sleep is, again, the most valuable quantity, my most valuable um, asset. I don't even call sleep an asset. It's just very valuable. And my time is the second most valuable asset. So if I'm able to get a few more um, minutes or hours of sleep, I really try to organize my life to sleep more in order to save myself money because I find that I just naturally am happier and save myself money when I'm well rested. That happens very, very infrequently and sometimes very often there are things that are out of my control that affect my sleep. However, wherever possible, I aim to prioritize sleep. That's just what I aim to do. Um, and then the fifth thing that I do is to prioritize my time over getting the best deal, which kind of can be a little bit um, in contrast with item number three, which is to do it myself whenever possible. But again, I try to be mindful of the exchange of time versus money because time, again, is a very, very valuable commodity, regardless of your situation, especially in mine. But regardless, time is a very, very valuable commodity. So, for example, if the store just around the corner has romaine lettuce or 
with something that I, something else that I buy has my coffee creamer for $6 and the store two blocks over has a coffee creamer for $5.29. I'm not going to walk two blocks over to save, you know, 70 cents, which is actually a lot. But if I figure that it takes me half an hour to go that further route, that that 70 cents becomes less important, right? Especially when it comes to things that we buy all the time that can't necessarily be stocked up. Um, things like fresh vegetables and the protein sources. I know you can freeze protein, but we have limited space in our um, in our freezer. And has anyone else noticed that frozen vegetables have really gone up in price? That was kind of a shock to me. Anyway, saving time over getting the best deal is really something that I have learned to do. Sometimes my time is worth a lot more than the savings that I perceive I will obtain on a certain item. So that's what I got for you as far as five ways that I save money still living in a high cost of living area. Let me know if you can relate to any of these. Um, thank you so much for watching. As always, I hope you'll keep watching. Bye.